Good morning, today is the day of my yoga exam. I'm feeling quite nervous, I'm not going to lie. I've been on this yoga teacher training course since September, so I just cannot believe that today is finally the day for my exam. I've, I've completed all of the modules and everything, um, but we just need this final practical assessment before we can be classified as qualified yoga teachers. So the exam is a 60 minute vinyasa class that I need to teach to the founder of the studio and also I think I have about three or four students joining um, on Zoom. And yeah, it is on Zoom. Normally it would be in person and up until the beginning of this week, I thought it would be in person. Um, like obviously social distancing because there would only be like three students in the room. But now because of the new tier three restrictions in London, it means that it has to be on Zoom, which I completely understand, but it is a little bit sad that <laughs> like my first proper class that I'm giving is going to be on Zoom because it's just such a different experience. I am excited. I have practiced a lot this week, um, not like big classes, but just like one-on-one -on, -one on Zoom again. And uh, they went well, so. <laughs> fingers crossed. I think it'll be fine, but it's just terrifying that the founder of the studio is going to be observing. My exam is at 10.30 and it's now 8.30, so I thought I would practice myself for an hour, like go through the whole flow myself just so it's fresh in my mind and then I'll have an hour to like have breakfast, freshen up and just refresh my memory with like all of the cues that I need to say and yeah, we should be good. <laughs> Sweeping the right foot up for your three leg dog and stepping the foot to the outside of the right foot for our lizard pose. Maybe dropping down the left knee, untucking the toes and option to come down onto our forearms. Otherwise we can take hold of the back foot or using our right hand to press the left knee outwards. Sometimes it helps to just walk that right foot out slightly, creating a bit more space and let's stay here for a few breaths. Walking the right foot into the centre of the mat and shifting the hips back for our half splits. Option to take full splits here, otherwise flex the right foot. Inhale, lift to lengthen and exhale, forward fold over that right foot. Maybe playing around with the position of the hands, reaching them forward, reaching them back, turning the palms to the opposite way. And breathing through this deep stretch, just let the head go. Bending through the right leg, let's press that leg back up into our three leg dog. And coming into our pigeon, so right knee to the back of the right arm, straightening that left leg behind you, maybe checking behind just to see if it's straight. Let's inhale, lift to lengthen, and exhale, walk the hands out in front of you and fold forward. Walking the hands back in, tucking under the back foot. Lift the right leg back up into your three leg dog, opening the hips here, so bending the knee, bringing that right heel close into the right glutes. And if it's in your practice, slowly and controlled, drop that right foot behind you for your flip dog, reaching that right arm to the front of the room, feeling that opening in the chest. And slowly bringing the right hand back down, bring the right foot up to your three leg dog, and then back down to meet the left for our downward facing dog. I've just finished my own practice, 60 minutes of vinyasa. I did the exact same routine that I'm going to teach and I spoke the whole way through it so I felt really out of breath because normally when I practice I wouldn't talk at all, I just focus on the breath. Um, but it, I think it all went well. Um, I feel like practicing before the exam just means that it's all completely fresh in your mind and you feel the movements because when I've been teaching on Zoom, I don't tend to demo that much just because I need to like watch on the screen. So sometimes you can kind of not feel what that person is feeling as they're in the movement. So I'm really glad I've done this practice just so it's all fresh in my mind. And um, yeah, I'm going to have some breakfast now, a cup of tea, I might call my mum. <laughs> I've got about an hour, so yeah, I just need to freshen up. Um, I'll put some new yoga clothes on. 
<laughs> I am feeling a bit more confident this morning. I definitely felt more nervous a couple of days ago, but I feel I feel ready. I've done all I can. There's nothing else I can do, so there's no point really worrying about anything because I mean it's too late now. <laughs> My exam's in an hour, so there's not much more I can do. Um, but I'm focusing the practice around um, staying calm during this time of year because it can be so overwhelming for so many people. Whether you celebrate Christmas or not, I think December is just quite a demanding month. I really hope the sirens don't go by when I'm teaching, but let's face it, they definitely will. I'm just going to pretend we're in Bali, it's all good. Yeah, I just feel like December is a very demanding month for so many people, so um, I'm focusing my practice this morning on that and just finding peace from within, and we can find that on our yoga mats, um, just calming down the mind and the body. So, um, yeah, okay, I think I'm just going to take the next hour to just, like, breathe, calm down, eat some food, freshen up. Guys, I'm so excited! <laughs> I just did the exam. I ended up teaching five people, I think, on the Zoom, which I've never done before. I can't believe my exam, I had to teach five. No, was it six? Oh my gosh, it went so well. I'm so happy. I feel like that was the best class I've ever taught, which is ideal for the exam, um, but the uh, lady who was um, the founder of the studio who was taking the exam, she practiced as well, so I guided her with everyone else. And at the end, she had a big smile on her face. She said that was really, really lovely. It's going to take me a couple of days to just write up all of my feedback and send to you, but it was really, really great. Well done. I'm so excited. I'm so, so excited. <laughs> Guys, I might be a qualified. Oh, everyone's messaging me. Oh, my friend just texted me saying that she seemed to have really enjoyed it, the examiner. Oh my gosh. I could be a qualified yoga instructor, guys. I don't know when I'll find out. I don't know when I'm going to get my feedback. Um, I hope it doesn't take more than a couple of days because I just want to know. But I feel so, so happy. Um, I feel like the last few days, to be honest, I have had this like cloud over me because it's just this exam has been looming um, and now that I've done it I feel I feel so so happy um, so it's 11.30 now I, I don't think I made any plans for this afternoon I've got no meetings, no Zoom calls um, I think I'm just going to go for a really nice walk to celebrate <laughs> because that's how we celebrate these days we go for a nice walk I am an actual drowned rat. <laughs> I just went for this really long walk and about five minutes in, it just started pouring with rain and I didn't have an umbrella, which was great. I always seem to carry an umbrella when it's sunny. And then when it rains, I never have one with me. Such a shame, my hair was looking so nice from the hairdressers yesterday. Not that I have anywhere to go at all. Um, what did I do? I walked to Westbourne Grove, I went to Planet Organic, picked up some food, um, I picked up a soup that I'm going to have in a minute, and I grabbed a cinnamon bun and ate it on my way home in the rain. It was a bit soggy, but it was still delicious. And yeah, I've got some parcels here that I thought I might just put them open. Oh sweet, Amelia, Liana, has just sent me her new jewellery collection. I'm so proud of her. I remember her telling me about this. She's been working on this for so, so long. It looks beautiful. Look at the box. You see the eye in the middle. Cute. I think you pronounce it Remy. Let's see. Oh my goodness, they're so pretty. <gasps> Sorry, that must be so annoying. When I'm like, oh, it's so nice and you can't see it. I've got the necklace there and the earrings. That's absolutely stunning. She's done such a good job. Oh, the ring as well. I always feel so proud of friends when they achieve something. That is beautiful. Oh my God, I love that. Look at that. Let me come closer. That's absolutely beautiful. And it fits perfectly. <laughs> that never happens with me. Amazing. Oh, so, so proud. I feel like this year has been such a crazy year and 
generally, I would say very, very negative, but really brilliant things have come out of it still, you know, like whether it's launching a business like this, like Amelia, or new relationships, new starts, new homes, um, new courses, new yoga instructors. <laughs> I just feel like this year has kind of put everything into perspective for everyone and some good things have come out of it. I think it's always important to focus on the positive things in our life. Um, that's something I said in my class actually this morning at the end. I, I quoted from the Yoga Sutra and I, it basically um, says that when negative thoughts come into the mind that's when you should think the absolute opposite the most. So feeling grateful for all you have in your life. Um, focusing on the positive aspects of your life because usually there is something really great in your life that you can focus on I think and for some reason the human nature is frustrating it's more natural to focus on the negative aspects and you know the bad things it, it tends to affect us more so sometimes we just need to remind ourselves to focus on more positive elements of our life um, rather than the negative if that makes any sense at all. I don't know why I'm just rambling on about all of this now, but it just came to me. I think I'm in a bit of a excitable mood today because of my, my um, exam. I'm so, so happy. I just went on my walk and called my grandma, my auntie, my cousin, and my mum, and um, told them all about it. Feeling very, very proud. Guys, you're all going to hate me because my heating is on and that squeak is happening. I know, it's so annoying, you're just gonna have to deal with it for the next few seconds while I wrap up this video. Um, first of all, I want to say that I have kind of been cheating on Bruce. He's like, great, Bruce is over here, and I do love him, you know, he's, he's like the, the permanent guy in my life. But look over here, look what arrived today. I haven't named him, so why don't you guys name him for me? He's like brighter and younger. Look at him, isn't he gorgeous? He's not quite as spiky as Bruce as well, he's a bit softer. I feel like he's the younger, like more fun and spontaneous version of Bruce, so yeah, just wanted to um, let you guys know little life update there. Um, I have been going through lots of CVs actually. Do you know what? I'm going to go into the bedroom because I'm not going to have the like radiator noise. I figured out what the noise is by the way. It's my radiator. It needs bleeding and I don't know how you do that. So um, yeah. Ooh, oh that's nice. Silence. No squeaking. Um, Oh yeah, so I've been going through CVs because at Smart Skin we are hiring and we've had the most incredible response. Um, I put it out there on my Instagram and we had lots and lots and lots of um, emails, which was brilliant. And so many incredible ones, like I'm just reading through them, we've already shortlisted. And I'm going through them and I'm just like... They're all good. Like, can I just have everyone? Like, they're <laughs> so brilliant. It's really, really exciting. And it actually makes me feel so emotional and proud that my little business is growing already. Like, hiring a new person is such a big deal. Growing the team, I just feel like it's just the next step. And to be honest, I didn't realise that we would be taking it to the next step this soon but we just need extra bodies you know so no I feel really 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 proud and I mean I've got the most incredible team as it is so just feeling so so grateful like I'm just so lucky to yeah have built this brand with an amazing group of people and now we're going to be growing the team. So yeah, it's exciting. So that's what I've been doing this afternoon, going through a lot of CVs um, and just catching up on like general work stuff because I feel like the yoga exam really consumed a lot of my time, even though like not necessarily physically, like I only practice yoga once a day, which is a lot, but I mean, it's not like it was taking up my time in that way, but just mentally, it's been on my mind for the last... 
few days, few weeks, few months, and yeah, I've been quite anxious about it, I suppose. And to be honest, like the last few days, I've actually been feeling quite down, and I, I think it's just the pressure. I felt so much pressure. I felt like I couldn't keep up with work. It felt like everything was getting ahead of me and I was just playing catch up. Like for the last two weeks, I've just felt like I'm just running along trying to keep up with everything. And um, I think I just found it quite overwhelming. So now that I've done the yoga exam, immediately I just felt this relief like, oh, that's done. Like not that I wanted it to be out the way, but I'm just really excited that 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 I've reached that milestone and now finally I can actually just get fully stuck back into work stuff. Um, so yeah, that's basically what I've been doing this afternoon and I have no plans this evening. I'm just going to, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm just like, <laughs> I wanna say something really fun but I literally have no plans. Like I might watch The Crown or I might watch Schitt's Creek but other than that, I think I'm just going to read my book and get into bed. Wild, wild night, guys. Um, but yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I don't really know what it's about. It's about my yoga exam. There we go. Hope you've enjoyed it. I'm sorry about the radiator. I will figure out how to bleed a radiator. Two things for you guys. Leave <laughs> in the comments a name for my new boy. And second thing, how do I stop a radiator from squeaking? Thank you. <laughs> See you soon, guys. Bye.